So John, we're back at Richmond Park for the final times this season on Monday and Friday. What are your thoughts ahead of being back at home? Our home record's been quite good, nine wins in 16, and hopeful to finish the two home games on a high if possible. Yeah, of course. I think um, I think we know everything that's up for grabs. Obviously, Sligo on the Monday, and then um, Shamrock Rovers on the on the Friday. Two big games for us. You know, six points up for grabs, and hopefully, we'll be looking at trying to get maximum points if if possible, and give ourselves the best chance of you know finishing in in the European spots or or better. Yeah, the connection between the players, the staff, and the supporters all over the country but at home here has been really special we'll have two sellouts for the, for the games on Monday and Friday and the atmosphere has been class for the players and hopefully they'll, they'll use that to hopefully their home advantage Yeah I think that's you know something that you know I think is massive in football you know having that home advantage and we've not had it in the cup campaign um, we'll obviously take a, a big crowd through to the final but I think it's it's massive that you know the games at home where the crowd have got behind us and, and they've been in, in good voice and, and good song and, and got behind the players you know from the start and when things are a little bit difficult they can they can give you a little edge and I think you know the players would be would, would say that themselves you know that 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 can give them that extra push and spur them on and I think I've had it myself as a player where the crowd are behind you and it's it's fantastic the, cr- the crowd here especially at Richmond have been you know very very good and supported us in good numbers and. We're looking forward to you know the last two games of the season at home and, and hopefully, as I said, you know putting on a performance that gives them something to get behind. And just lastly, it's a unique place to play in and to coach in as well. The fans are so tight to the pitch. The home dugout, away dugout are so tight to the pitch as well. You're, you're effectively kicking every ball on the sideline too. So it's a unique place to, to coach and manage in, but a special one at the same time. Yeah, well, it makes the pitch feel a little bit tighter and a little bit smaller than it probably actually is. You know, I think... Um, the pitch is, is quite a big pitch. It just doesn't feel like that, um, you know, with the with the stands and the terrace right on top of you. So um, it can be quite, um, you know, quite an illusion for the players when they go out. They feel like it's a tight pitch, but it's not. And I think, you know, it's 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 always the the nice grounds to play. And I think the ones where the crowd are on top of you and you can you can feel it. And um, and I think they can feel it as well because they they feel like they're right on top of the action and. Um, it's a great, a great stadium, great venue to play in, and um, a one that I know the players um, definitely enjoy playing in. And as I said, the, the fans are, have been fantastic, and, and I'm sure they will continue to be in the in the next couple of games. Yeah, with two big games to go at home in terms of the context at the end of the season, to hopefully uh, end the home season on a high touch wood. That's the plan, Jay. That's the plan. Um, obviously, you can never guarantee yet in football, but I think um, we'll certainly go out and, and try our best, and, and we'll do what we can to try and get the results that we, we need to get us, again, as I keep saying, to get us where we need to be. And, um, you know, if other results go your way elsewhere, you just never know.